Uh, right, uh, this shows you how we can uh, import the I just saw the step file and do some machining uh, on it. So uh, I've imported the step file, but I could have also used the, the I just file, and this is the part here. Uh, what we might want to do is move it around so that it's in the XY plane. So to do that, we can simply uh, pick the objects to rotate and then tell it which plane, which is in the XY and the angle. So that just uh, swaps it around. That might be the way you want to machine it. Um, OK, so uh, I assume then that this is going to be turned. So if you've already turned it, then we just want to cut those slots out. Uh, so to do that, we uh, select all the uh, the XY faces. So all it will do is it will pick up those uh, three slots there. Uh, so we're going into the milling module and we're going to set our origin as the midpoint in X and Y and the maximum in Z. OK, so that creates uh, the CNC file. Uh, so we're in the CAM system now, so we can uh, check on our tool change position, make sure that's in the correct position. And then we can define a tool. Uh, depending on the size, it's probably quite small and so that's the tool we're going to use we select that tool for use we set the spindle speed and the feed rate and if we want to switch the coolant on that's where we do it and then we just do an area clear on those parts there so we say area clearance and we give it the depth so it's picked up the depth from uh, the drawing but we want the work surface to be zero which is the top of the job and the depth is going to be 20 uh, we might want to do this in a series of Z passes, so we'll set up that value there and to get it to machine all three of those, we say machine all contours with the same group number. Okay, so that just uh, takes those uh, three parts and just machines them in a series of uh, Z levels.